Flap your pappy in his pee flappy. Wow. It's what's the hold up. This is the new theme song. Every every time Avril every Levine time. Avril Levine after this. Tom Kenny should have fucking known better. They handed him that <laughs> script, and he's like, oh, yeah, I can talk like a stereotypical inner-city black guy. Easy. The hold up. Oh, Robert Stack's in there. Yeah, sh- sh- I was gonna go through a list of fucking. No, you ruined it. All right, just. What do you mean I ruined it? Because I want to see if I can do it without looking at the thing. Okay. Why? So just give me five seconds. Is that five seconds of silence, <laughs> you bitch? <laughs> Shut the fuck up for five seconds. <laughs> Your laughter is is just like daggers through my fucking heart. <laughs> Fine, let's start the fucking podcast. Are you happy? Hi, hey, this is What's the Hold Up with Laffy McFuckerton over here. <laughs> fucking Captain Fucknuts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> 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 oh. Did I hear Captain Fucknuts? Here That's I his am. call. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am to save the day. Here I come to soil <laughs> yeah. the day. You know that Captain Fuck Nuts is on her way. Here I am. <laughs> oh god. God damn it. What are we doing here? Hi, this is another episode of What's the Hold Up. Jeez, God God Willikers. If if you didn't like the show before, it's a fucking we got a slobber knocker for you tonight. <laughs> Um, slap happy good times. Slap happy good times. Happy slap your pappy. <laughs> oh my god. Slap your pappy in his pee flappy. Wow. It's what's the hold up. This is the new theme song. No. <laughs> Fuck if that's not going to go at the beginning of this episode <laughs> with instrumentation. You watch. Well, uh, well you can't watch. You listen. Uh, right. You fucking listen. You, you do, do it. it. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Sorry about that. I'm very sorry. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Okay. What were we talking about before that? Nothing. We we hadn't gotten a- anywhere near anything. Captain yeah. Captain fuck nuts. <sighs> so anyway, hey. Anyway, hey. What's happening? What's the oh. haps? What's the happy haps, Pappy? Slap your pa- Oh, I did that song You already. did. Well, shit in my britches and call me Mickey. So anyways, this is what's the hold up. I'm Zach, and you've already met Captain Fucknuts. And so... I know. <laughs> A.K.A the mild-mannered daily fucking reporter Heather <laughs> um, if, you, if you were waiting on. if you were waiting for something more witty <laughs> you're my, gonna be waiting a long time I can I put, put my glasses, glasses on. on one lens at a time like every other woman <laughs> there's nothing special about me I put my glasses on one lens at a time <laughs> nor oh, my shit. reporter <laughs> god you guys know that we're doing Transformers right in case you hadn't already guessed from all this banter. Yeah. <laughs> you should have gotten speaking the subliminal message. Speaking of glasses and reporters, that's a perfect segue into our tonight's movie, Transformers. Um, <laughs> you got the touch. Ding, ding, ding. You got the power. Ah. <laughs> um, yes, we're doing that Transformers, not the shitty Michael Bay one where... Uh, where Bumblebee, honest to God, pisses oil on someone. He sure does. Um, fucking a. He's a he, Bumblebee actually pisses he's a bot on with John a bad Turturro. Tude. He literally pisses on John Turturro. Yes, I know he does. These movies are so it. fucking ridiculous. I seen it. <laughs> SpongeBob voices a racist fucking like Jetta in the second one. Uh, yes, that is fucking Tom oh, that's Kenny. That's right. Yeah, that's right. 
doing a racist, like, yeah. jive-ass turkey fucking, uh, like, black stereotype. Holy shit. Yeah. Let's, let's, you know how when people say never forget and they're talking about 9-11? The real thing that we must never forget is Transformers 2. That is an abomination of cinematic <laughs> grotesquerie. Yeah, they're all not that good. They're all not that good. Except for Transformers the movie. Yes. Or... The OG. And I would like to preface this next joke by making sure that it's abundantly crystal fucking Pepsi clear that I only got four hours of sleep last night. This joke may not land, but on my nightly effort to get all my Fitbit steps in, I came up with this. So we're going to be ta- we're going to be watching and talking about Transformers the movie, right? Uh yeah. Nope. How about Tramp Somers Methuvi? What? Mount Vesuvius? What? No, no, no. Tramp Somers Methuvi. Think you mix around the letters a little bit? <laughs> wow. Tramp Somers? No. Tramp Somers. Tramp S- What are Tramp Somers? <laughs> That's this. It's it's the the in the, the F and the S are mixed around like uh, okay. <laughs> No. More than meets the eye. See, that sounded like the regular thing, but I mixed, but I switched the M on more and the M on meets. I switched them around. Perfect. So, uh, why don't you tell us all about Transformers the movie from your little magic so, pocket box there? Transformers the movie from 1986. 19, really? Yeah. I thought it was 85 for some reason. 86. 86. Rated PG. Yep. The Autobots must stop a colossal planet consuming robot who goes after the Autobot matrix of leadership. Yep. Is that the the cube? No. No, you're thinking of I am well, thinking of the Michael Bay thing. Well, no. You're thinking of the Marvel movies first of all because there's no, no cube in the Michael Bay one. Yeah, there is. It's not a cube. Well, it starts Is it? Yeah, it's a cube. Oh, maybe you're right. It's a goddamn cube. What is it called again? The All Spark. The All Spark, and it's a it's a cube. It starts off in, as, as like a really giant cube, and then it something happens. Okay, Sam does right. something right. to it, and it it well, shrinks. If you'll forgive me, these movies have fucking ripped off this original <laughs> movie so many times. In the second or third one, there is like Prime's like Matrix inside of him, like his okay. heart thing. Remember? Yeah. Somehow. And I forget if it's connected to the Allspark or something. It's not in the first movie. It's right. in one of them. He does die and then come back. Yes. Or I don't fucking know. All right. At the so same I'm sorry. I time, I thought you were talking about the Tesseract. Then no, but thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, they must defend themselves against an all-out attack from the Decepticons. Yep. So at the same time, so Those they must stop the colossal planet and defend themselves from the fuck Decepticons. No, the no, no, the colossal planet-eating robot. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's great about Unicron? He is... Uh, it's almost unicorn? That, too. No, he's <laughs> he's he's fucking uh, Mega Maid from uh, Spaceballs. Because he's, he's... Well, okay. So, basically, he's the Death Star with horns, okay? And then he transforms into a giant robot. It's like in Spaceballs when it transforms into the giant yeah. fucking maid. The um, tagline... You ready? Yep. Escape into fantasy this summer. Into the incredible rock and roll adventure. Oh, wow. there's so much rock and roll in this movie. It's <laughs> all the so rock good. and roll, all the rock and roll. Oh my god, so many great songs in this movie. Uh, who who's in it, Zach? Okay, so without you looking, t- I yeah. want to see if I have you this. I'm gonna rattle off there all the go. people that I can. Because this movie has a surprising amount of stars at the top. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have Scatman Crothers, John Machida. That's the Micro Machines guy, the fast talking guy. Not, I'm not explaining that to you. I'm explaining that to the audience. Yeah. Um, uh, fuck, I fucked up. All right, Scatman Crothers, John Mashita, Judd Nelson. Yep. Um, uh, fuck. Uh, 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 Monty Python. There. What's his name? Ah, uh, fuck. Eric Idle. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, uh, Spock. Yep. Leonard Nimoy. Mm-hmm. Um, Orson Welles. Uh-huh. It was Orson Welles' last film, actually. And who else? Who else is in it that's famous? Is there anyone else? Uh, yeah. Who else? Because I forget. Let's see. Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem's in it. That's right. Casey uh, Kasem's in it. Robert Stack's Frank in it. Frank Welker. Well, Frank Welker is, yeah. But that's because he is um, uh, Optimus Prime, right? Right. Yeah. 
No, actually, Peter Cullen is Optimus Prime. You're right. Frank Welker is um is Megatron. Megatron. That's right. Yeah. And he. That's right. Because yeah, Frank Welker is the one that they didn't bring back from the movies for whatever reason. They kept Peter Cullen as Optimus Prime, but they fucking uh, they put uh what's his name from the Matrix as a uh, Megatron, which made no sense to me. Hugo Weaving. Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah. that's. <laughs> Let me tell you, this movie is fucking. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, well, first of all, so finishing up talking about the rock music, this movie starts out on a fucking rocking note right at the way because the beginning, um, the Transformers theme, it's not the regular theme from the cartoon. No. It's a new rock theme done by the band Lion. <laughs> do, do, Roar. Do, 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 do. Transformers! <laughs> more than meets the young. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's pretty badass <laughs> yeah I'm not even being ironic right now yeah um then there's the dare dare to believe in who you are um and then later on it's there's Transformers a you the musical. To yeah it's fucking amazing okay <laughs> the rock opera the trans oh that why isn't that a thing Transformers the rock opera the rock. I'm sure somewhere there is <laughs> and then uh it should be and then um It'd be perfect oh the other thing I love about this movie fucking there's a Weird Al song in it Really? Dare to be stupid is actually in this movie. Yeah, when they're on the planet with the trash robots. Oh, I'll have to pay the wreck guard everything. That. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah. How many times have you seen this film? Just like once? Maybe twice. Oh man. In my whole life. I ugh, I've watched this so many times. I loved it. Like when I was a kid, I watched Transformers, but I wouldn't say I watched it like religiously. Yeah. This movie is good. Um, and it's still regarded as good. Yeah. Not just like for like nostalgic reasons. It's 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 leaps and bounds ahead of uh, any of the Michael Bay movies. As a kid, I I'm not sure I knew exactly where it fit like chronologically. Mm -hmm. But it 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 actually I think bridges the gap between Transformers season 3 and 4 or 2 and 3 or something like that. Um and this movie is now I know they could get away with it because it's robots. Yeah. But this movie has some spoilers major deaths and they stay dead there's no like everybody huh. comes back at the end of the movie yeah so many major characters fucking just <laughs> bite the dust in this movie as far as i know these deaths were like permanent and shit like yeah. the next season after the movie didn't have optimus prime didn't have starscream huh. didn't have megatron huh. yeah megatron dies in this movie uh, Optimus Prime dies in this movie. Starscream dies in this movie. Jeez. Whole planets get eaten by fucking Unicron. This movie is fucking hardcore. <laughs> I love this fucking movie. It's got all my favorites in it. Grimlock, who I love, even though the idea of a Tyrannosaurus Rex robot is stupid as all hell. But yeah, it's got Grimlock in it. Um, right. Starscream, ugh, even though fucking he dies. That sucks. Mm -hmm. I know he's a robot, but still... <laughs> These are sentient living, like, robots, mm -hmm. okay? I think we've established. They're, like, an alien species. Mm -hmm. So even though they could get away with it by, you know, oh, they're robots, they're fucking... By... Just to give a comparison, again, same company put out the G.I. Joe movie, all right? And they wanted one of the main characters. I always get Duke and, like, Hawk mixed. I think it was Duke. <laughs> um, I fucking... I didn't follow G.I. Joe. Um, I saw the movie. Obviously, because I thought it was cool. And I don't mean the live-action movie. Again, I mean, you know, yeah. G.I. Joe, the movie, the cartoon one that came out, like, I think the year after this. Um, uh, where the fuck was I? I'm so rambling. Oh, so Duke was supposed to die. And they didn't, even in the movie, they couldn't have that. He got shot, and he got hurt, but he didn't die. Right. Versus this, where Optimus Prime, that guy that you've loved for all the time, dead. Yeah. Um, you know, Megatron. Megatron comes back, well, comes back as Galvatron. But again, it's still, it's, it's, it, for all intents and purposes, Megatron's dead. I mean, he's got a whole new voice and everything. Uh -huh. Pretty fucked up. <laughs> and, it, and the other thing, too, is it's right, like, it starts off with this fucking war. Basically, like, the Decepticons are, it takes place in, like, 2015 or something. <laughs> like, you know, from way f from at the time, obviously, uh -huh. in the future. And, uh, there's, like, this last offensive between the Decepticons and the Autobots, and that's how it starts. And the good guys are losing and have to retreat and fucking run away and shit. There's so much cool shit in this movie. And, and at the end, we get Rodimus Prime. <laughs> the Transformer Hot Rod, Prime. played by Judd Nelson. 
love it. Takes the Autobot matrix of leadership, which is essentially Optimus Prime's heart, yep. puts it inside his own chest, and becomes Rodimus Prime. It's awesome. How can you not love this fucking movie? And then he <laughs> destroys Mega Maid. Basically, this fucking movie's amazing. Um, it's got a female Transformer named RC. Ooh. There's no racist Transformers. Uh, yeah. Um, and the one we're going to watch with the deleted scene has the word shit in it. <gasps> yeah, I know, right? No. Pretty spectacular. That's probably why it's PG. That's, yeah, probably. <laughs> no, the, the violence, too. E- oh, yeah. Even though they allowed it, they still had to probably rate it like PG. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is a fucking badass <laughs> movie. I'll tell you what. Um, I can't fucking wait to watch it. Yeah. I can't fucking wait to watch Transformers. Yeah. The one thing I still don't understand and I've looked it up before and I still don't quite get it why the You Got the Touch song is in this and in Boogie Nights <laughs> I don't understand that really? You? oh you don't remember that? no holy shit yeah Mark I've, Wahlberg I've seen Boogie Nights once oh my god Babe, my whole you life. need to watch Boogie Nights again it's the amazing the only things I remember from Boogie Nights are uh, Roller Girl uh, whatever Heather Graham yeah Heather yeah. Graham just like curb stomping some dude. Yeah. That was fucked up. Yeah. And then uh Mark Wahlberg like prostituting himself basically. And How have you not fucking That's wow. it. I don't remember anything. Oh else. my god, you need to see that movie again. That movie's <laughs> I know. amazing. Well maybe we should do it for Yes we should. But yeah, there's a part where he wants to like become a, a like a rock star and him yeah. and fucking John C. Riley, he's in the recording thing. This is Mark Wahlberg. This is great. And who went on to be in a Transformers movie. Right. Obviously. But he's in there. He's like, you got the touch. Du, du, you got the pat. Like, that's the song he records. That's great. Yeah. It's so weird. I don't understand why. It's not like it's a big song that was, like, outside of those movies. It's only just exists in those movies. It's by someone named Stan Bush. And I don't understand why it's in both those things. <laughs> that's, so that's, that's the Transformers Boogie Nights connection, in case anyone was looking for it. You found it. Yay. You you found it. You found it. The Transformers <laughs> Boogie Nights connection. Good work, Gumshoe. <laughs> uh, anyways, do you have anything to... I'm sorry, I've been talking the whole time. What do you want to talk oh, about, Transformers? Okay. What did you think about Transformers when you were a wee little lass? <laughs> I thought Transformers was cool. Wee little lass. When I was younger. Yes. Um... I always thought, you know, I've always grown up with, you know, robots that could transform into things. So, <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but, or like, you know, it the whole like, more than meets the eye thing, like, do you remember at McDonald's, they had, they had those transforming M- McDonald's toys? I love, you're talking about the food, right? Yeah, I'm talking I about the food. I loved those. Yeah. The fries start, transformed into Transformers, the thing. Oh God, uh, Transformers started this craze of like... All these different fucking toys. That you, you are right because there was and I'm not talking about things. robots. There was a lot of ran, like like random like transforming robot things. Yeah, you're and right, it wasn't that even robots. Generic. Like it wasn't just robots. It wasn't just so, robots. No, like you're it right. was the the food. Like they had the 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 fucking Big Mac container yeah. that turned into some, some yeah. other th- god yeah. fucking thing. And well, that was like, like um that spawned then mask. <laughs> Where it yeah. was like the thing in that was that the vehicles turn into a different vehicle. Um, there was this. Uh, oh fuck! I'm not gonna be able to remember what it was called. And Voltron was on around the same time, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, but Voltron's a little. That's that's more just giant mech thing. Yeah, um, that's true. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, there was this little. Do you? Fuck! I can't. I'm trying to think of what it was called. Do you remember it was a toy line? They were like micro warriors or something, and like. All I remember is one of their bases or weapons was like a Pepsi can transformed into like their like vehicle or something, <laughs> I and like they, they were like this. computer warriors or something. They were yeah. called not reboot, but something. And like they were tiny, and like they had things that could transform, like regular, <laughs> you know, things that would be in your room right. could transform into their like high tech shit. But there's so yeah, there's so a lot many of transforming things. going on. I have a a confession to make, actually. Yeah, I preferred GoBots when I was a child. Wow, I was a huge fan of the GoBots. And I always thought the Transformers were inferior. I liked both, obviously. Yeah. But I always thought the Transformers were inferior because I was like, but the GoBots can shoot out of their hands. Mm. They don't need guns like the Transformers do. Right. And they can all fly because they have jets in their feet. And it wasn't until I got older and I realized, like, oh, you know, these are actually kind of I didn't mind the Transformers. I didn't really notice the GoBots, to be honest, because I... 
Well, Transformers are definitely the more popular. Also. Yeah, and I mean that and GI Joe. Like I know, I, Joe, like we watched them, but hero, I didn't hero. care about yeah, didn't those care things about as Joe much as I cared about Ninja the, Turtles, uh, Ghostbusters, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, and and all the other shows yes. that I watched. Agreed. You know it. There were so many other shows. <laughs> well, as much as even though I like Transformers, it was never like my favorite show or anything. Yeah, I just uh, I didn't care about like robots fighting other robots and cars. Like I never cared that much. Like they were cool. Yeah. And I knew what they were. Like I knew what the characters' names were and whatnot. Yeah. And, you know, watched it sometimes, but it wasn't until I got older that I actually like appreciated. Who's your favorite? Transformer? Robots and mechs and whatnot. Um, I don't know. Probably Optimus Prime. That's the same answer. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that's that's accurate. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, it. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go with Optimus Prime. This is one of the he's, few he's things cool. where um, <laughs> my I love Optimus Prime by the way. Don't get me wrong, but my favorite Transformer is a bad guy. My uh, favorite Transformer is Starscream. It's Starscream. He's just such a I know. piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's so fucking. He is, he he is, is so. Funny, he will. Though. He will. He will screw over anybody. Anybody. Yep. And then if he doesn't succeed, he'll just grovel and be like, Megatron, yeah, please does. forgive me. <laughs> I was doing it for you, Mighty Megatron. I was pretending yeah. to, to double cross you so that I could get information from the Autobots. And right. Megatron always takes him back. You know why he always took him back? In, in Generation 1, I know why. All the others, it doesn't make sense. But you, do you know why he always took him back? Why? Because he needed somebody to fucking fire him. Do you remember what Megatron turned into in Generation 1 Transformers? Yeah, a gun. A, a handgun. A handgun. <laughs> At least Galvatron, and you'll see in the movie, turns into a cannon that can right. fire itself. yeah. Megatron, this, this never made sense I to me. I know. Now, the other... The other... Trans, all the Transformers are big, obviously, if yes. humans can ride in them and whatnot, right? Right. So when they're standing there, they're big. you got to figure, like, Optimus Prime's a semi-truck when he stands up he's like 10 feet 12 feet tall whatever so they're all big uh, but here's the thing so Megatron is we'll say 12 feet tall maybe estimate yeah. right yeah. so you gotta figure his arms are what length like um how long do you think your arm is compared to like what like 2 feet long yeah 2 and a half. Two and a half to 5 feet so he was pr so his arms are probably like 5 feet long or something uh -huh. we'll say okay I'm not gonna do all the math but we'll yeah. say his arms like 5 feet 4, four feet 5 feet long right yeah and he had on his left, I believe it was his left arm, had a giant, giant fucking cannon going down his left arm, uh -huh. okay, that he could fire. Yep. And it was fucking huge. Well, so we'll say like a four foot long cannon. When he transforms, he transforms into a <laughs> fucking handgun. I know. Small enough for Starscream to fire. Mm -hmm. So not only does Megatron transform, he's the only Transformer that bends the fucking laws of time and space and fucking shits all over physics. Yep. Right? Yeah. So, like, basically, all the other Transformers are like, well, you know, law of physics and, and, and conservation of mass. Like, if I'm this size standing, I have to be, you know, I have to have a cab on my truck that's this length. Megatron's just like, oh, physics? I'm just gonna, pfft, I just shat all over that. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm this tall, and I have a gun this big? No, no, no. I'm going to, for some reason, turn into a gun that's like that's 12 inches long. to the cannon that's what on the, my arm. What the fuck? Yeah. I, and so, wow. and, and this is the other thing. He's the leader. He doesn't trust Starscream as far as he can throw him, right? Yeah. But when he transforms, transforms he into a gun, jumps into his, fucking yeah. Starscream's hand. Yeah, he has to put his life And in. Starscream shoots him at people, uh, right? Right? Oh, uh, yeah. Shoots him at people while not shooting with... The cannons he has on his own arms. Never understood that. These are really Never made a lick of fucking guys. sense yeah. to me. These are just really dumb bad guys. But he turned into a fucking handgun. I know. What is the point of Great. that? Oh, hey, wh which one's the one that turns into the boombox? Soundwave. The bad guy or the good guy? Either one. Soundwave is the bad guy one. I thought that was, it, yeah. he was cool, too. Yeah, oh, he's awesome. Because there's, there's an Autobot equivalent. And yeah. the, their little tape guys turn into turn into things, too. Like Who's he has the Autobot equivalent? Ah, uh, his name is, um... Oh, you put me on the spot here. I can't remember his name right now. He turns into a boombox, though. Yeah. Um, And they both have tape, 
like their tapes come out and turn like I think Star yes. uh, uh, Soundwave has one that turns into like a, a hawk or something or a falcon yeah. like spies for them. Yeah, like and the Autobot too. dude has one that turns into like a dog and they fight sometimes. <laughs> the two tapes, but uh, yeah, I love some Megatron. He's got that voice. He's like Mighty Megatron. What is it that you want? <laughs> um, yeah, I love Soundwave. He's awesome. I was so happy when he was finally in the second movie or the third movie, but he was a fucking satellite. Blaster? Yes. Yes, that's his name. the Autobot. Yes. Because remember how, like, it must have been where you lived. Yeah, like, I liked him. Some, okay, so that's the one you like, not sound like, okay. So, because, like, some, remember some places apparently boombox were called Ghetto Blasters? Ghetto Blasters, That's yeah. probably why it was called the... Yeah. Um, Blaster. Yeah, I had something else I was going to say, and I'm now... I fr- no, 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 that's all right. I can't remember what I was going to say now. Um, fuck, I can't remember. Oh, the sound wave thing. Um, so, the fucking... I don't know if I ever told you about this, and I'll make it quick, because I know i got to edit this down. i got to go watch the movie. Um, so, it, Michael Bay's movies, and I, I tried to tell myself where I wasn't just going to take this, uh, you know, to just fucking, um shit all over Michael Bay's movies the whole time, you know. I got it, you know, I said it at the beginning, this movie's better, that's all that need to be said. But one thing that I just do need to say that re- always really fucking pissed me off was so, Michael Bay had said for the first Transformers movie, and possibly even the second one, I forget, said that they couldn't do Soundwave <laughs> because nobody used boomboxes anymore. And I was always like, that is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Because how do you know he didn't come to Earth and scan an old boombox or back when there were boomboxes, like like when <clears throat> mm. when Bumblebee starts out, he's like a nineteen seventy something Camaro, and then he scans a newer model, right? So you mean to fucking yeah. tell me that they couldn't have had him and he scanned an old boombox? And I'm like, this that's that's ridiculous. Like that that was the worst excuse. I'm like, that's not even a real excuse. You just don't want him in there because Michael Bay, you don't like anything good. <laughs> and you don't want good things in your movies. Yeah, you don't know what good Michael is. Bay is why we can't have anything nice. That's true. Um, do you have anything else to add to the Transformers? No. Talkingness. All right. <laughs> then we should go and watch Transformers the movie. Yay! And then we can come back and we can talk about it. Some more. Some more. S'mores? S'mores. I'd, lo- I'd love some. Yes, have some. Thank you. <laughs> Give me those s'mores. Give me those delicious golden gram s'mores. We'll be back after. We'll these be back messages. after these commercial messages. Boo, 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 boo. The treacherous Decepticons have conquered the Autobots' home planet of Cybertron. But from secret staging grounds on two of Cybertron's moons, the valiant Autobots prepare to retake their homeland. Transformers! Your days are numbered now, Decepticons. We're outnumbered. Absolute Prime, do you read me? Megatron must be stopped. No matter the cost, one shall stand, one shall fall. I would have waited an eternity for this. It's over, Prime. I thought you were made of sterner stuff. One day, an Autobot shall rise from our ranks to light our darkest hour. Until that day, till all are one. Nick, 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 Chodalodian, yeah. No, that's not how that would go. How would it go? It would go, ch 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 Chodalodian. Load of Chodian. Yeah, there you go. Chode Chowder. Ch- 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 Chody in the Jets. Oh my god. Dun, 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 oh, I dun, wish dun, that I had <laughs> Chody's girl. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> How about I Love Cock and Balls by <laughs> by Chode Jet? <laughs> I love cock and balls. Oh. Put another rubber on your tugger, baby. Oh my god. Cock and balls. <laughs> Grab another rubber and tug with me. Jesus. Hi. Hi, we're back from watching Transformers. 
And Nothing apparently, to do with Jones. Yeah, apparently watching Transformers Jones made us think of Jones. Jones. More than Jones, the Jode. Oh my god. Jones. <laughs> We're just gonna call this episode Chodobots Jode the Jode to destroy the evil Jones of the Deceptive Jones. Jones. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh boy. Um, yes. That's what they should have yelled at them at Decepti-chodes. one point. Deceptive Jones. You damn Deceptive Jones. Oh. Well, let's see. We didn't get Deceptive Jones, but we got. <laughs> Hold on, I wrote this down. Nice segue, by the way. They should have said Deceptive Chodes. I loved um, all of these. Instead, we got, uh... Let's see. Oh, where'd you go? We got Deceptive Chumps. Yeah. Deceptive Creeps. I like that one. And, just so that it doesn't seem like the Autobots have all the good lines, we got Auto Brat. Auto Brat. Which is great. And I know there were more before that. But Deceptive Chodes would have been good. No, I wrote down all of them. Did it was you just really? Deceptive Chumps and Deceptive Creeps, yep. Huh. Yep. I could have sworn there were more. Mm-hmm. But either way, they were pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, Transformers the movie from the 80s movie. It was absolutely more than meets the eye. It was more than meets the eye. <laughs> because what initially meets the eye is, you know... It's oh, lots of death and is, destruction. Oh my god, this movie <laughs> is so dark. It is. And there's, But there's such a tonal shift. Because it's like, oh... In the first 25 minutes, we're going to show up uh, a giant robot eating a whole planet full of, like, ro- in, in, I might add. Okay, so let me preface this by saying they obviously were like, we can get away with this because they're robots. But fuck that. When you're watching it, you have to realize oh, yeah. these are sentient, I almost said living, breathing. The, like, not the breathing part. These are heads and these eyes are, hanging out. But, no, him. But these are living, sentient beings. So, fuck <laughs> robots or not. These are living beings that are yeah. dying, okay? So, you have... Uh, it, you know, Unicron right from the beginning sucking up and eating a planet in much more mm-hmm. graphic detail than the Death Star ever blew oh, up a yeah. planet because he's digging into it with his claws and people are flying up into him oh, and he's yeah. sucking him up. It shows on the inside how it they're digested and made oh. into... Oh, man. So you have that. Then you have the Decepticons um, hijacking an Autobot ship and killing everyone aboard. Yep. Then they get down to Earth, and the killing continues. Including my guy, Blaster. Yeah. He gets killed. Everybody gets killed, pretty much. (laughs) Um, Just so much death and destruction. And then cut to, oh, we're on a planet with a guy who can only talk through TV commercials. Yeah. Uh, It's funny. I mean, and it was. I mean, because it was Eric Idle. It was awesome. But it's just such a weird tonal shift. Like, oh, well, you know... Oh, this guy's eye might be hanging out, you know, and, and this guy might have gotten blasted right in the face. This guy might have gotten shot so hard that he disintegrated. But, uh, but talking th- dinosaur is funny. Yes. <laughs> Grimlock. Oh, man. <laughs> Grimlock is the best, though. Me not. What did he call? He called him something. He's like, me not. Grimlock King. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Grimlock is awesome. <laughs> I even, I never noticed before that there's a, there's a, um, an of mice and men joke in there. Because at one point, uh, Cup, who was also great because he told, he was the old grizzled veteran with the, like, oh, I ever tell you about the time on Cinco de Mayo 6 where we fought the Mexicans? <laughs> um, sorry. <laughs> um, it was basically that. But. Yeah, but he said something about the, 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 the little um, whippersnappers. Yeah, he said something about the, like, um, the, the tetra rabbits or, like, the digi rabbits or something on one thing. And, um, Grimlock comes over and he's like, "Oh, cup, tell Grimlock about the rabbits again." <laughs> and I was like, "Holy shit, there's no mice and men joke in there." <laughs> that was great. Um, yeah, this. Uh, but yeah, this movie it's it's very dark for a for a children's movie. There's death. Um, there's mutiny. Like, oh yeah. Well, oh my god, that's like one of my favorite throat, things ever. Cutthroat fucking mutiny. Oh, that's one of my favorite things ever. Is, is, <laughs> it was is amazing. Fucking me- okay, so I, I gotta give props to Megatron because, and granted, maybe it's because they didn't all get movies so they didn't get a chance to, but how, how I'm thinking to other 80s villains, right? So I'm thinking of, like, Shredder, okay? Yeah. Shredder looks all badass with his, with his, uh, cartoon Shredder, of course. Looks so, you know, badass yeah. with all his, you know, like, uh, you know, claws and razors and whatnot, but he was but never a, a threat. Ass. He was never a threat. Nope. He never once seems like he's ever going to actually no. triumph over the turtles. He's ridiculous. Um, he's probably one of the worst 
oh, cartoon absolutely. villains of all time. Absolutely. But I mean, I'm trying to think of other, uh, what other cartoon villains were like just bumbling, like oh, so Gargamel, much. like so yeah, many, Gargamel like just like, you know, useless. um, um but else? friggin' Megatron <laughs> is an actual threat. You see him Murky. actually killing, yes, Murky and Lurky. Yeah. You see him actually killing Autobots and he fucks Prime over, well, he ends up killing him. Yeah, he, he... By being a fucking deceitful, like, oh, oh mercy! Yeah. <laughs> you who are without mercy now beg for mercy. And, you know, then Megatron, like, you know, grabs a weapon and, like, sh- hits him or whatever when he's, like, supposed to be, you know, begging for mercy. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, he's an actual, like, threat, which is crazy, because to have an actual, you know, to have the villain in an 80s cartoon be an actual threat it was great. Yeah. Um... But yeah, he gets fucking jacked up by Prime, and that's still my favorite fucking thing is when they're on Astro Train, um, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, we need to jettison some weight." And Starscream's like, "Oh well, they're going like we off should the get rid of the Astro yeah, train. exactly." <laughs> and Starscream's like, "Oh, you heard it. We need to get rid of some weight. So it seems like we should get rid of all the get wounded all, people. Yeah, get rid of all the dead weight. Yeah, and friggin' get it and." <laughs> I still but function. I love Fuck you. Starscream. <laughs> I still function. And as he's kicking him out the Fuck air, off, like, Megatron. What a bet. <laughs> yeah. That was the best. <laughs> what they really wanted to say was, Fuck off, yeah. Megatron. Fuck off. But then he <laughs> totally gets him back later. Oh, when yeah. Fucking, when he's Galvatron and he comes in and he disintegrates <laughs> him. Holy shit. This Star isn't Scream. a coronation. This is a farce. Yeah. Starscream just pisses himself and then disintegrates. When I, which I might add, at least when he's Galvatron. He can actually fucking fire himself, and he turns yes. transforms into a cannon the appropriate yeah. size. Yeah. Holy shit, I'm watching the beginning of this movie again, and I know I spent, like, a good ridiculous. ten minutes on the beginning part of this podcast, so I don't I won't want to go into it again too much, but it, just watching it is so infuriating. It really is. To have Megatron shooting, like, three guys with the <laughs> giant, giant, giant cannon. fucking cannon on his giant arm. Cannon. And to have Starscream shooting people with the not quite as giant, but still, you know, yeah. long and big enough, like, two double laser just, cannons on his arms. And yeah. then to just have Megatron be like, oh, well, you know, even though we're already winning this fight, let me shrink myself into a small fucking pistol, yeah, I don't Starscream, understand and that. you can shoot me at people. I don't understand how he shrinks into something, like... You ten, know, the shrinking, ten times the shrinking thing isn't him. even the part that's bothering me now. It's the part that he's... It, there's no point to it. Yeah. no. Starscream really has lasers. Like, Megatron has lasers. It's like... Let's the, forget them both. And like I'll turn into a gun and have you... Like, couldn't like, think of fuck? anything good. Like, they were like, let's make the villain... Let's make Megatron, like, useless. Well, it's funny because... <laughs> That's the thing. Half that's the only, the time. He's only useless when he's transformed. When he's transformed. People complain about nostalgia he has a and like, oh well. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> um, people complain about like, oh, it was better. And the one thing that the generation one transforms. One thing that has gotten better in every other iteration is what Megatron transforms into. Because yeah. every time, every every time, Avril every Levine, time. Avril Levine after this, um, <laughs> Megatron is either a tank. Or like a, a, a jet, or um, you know something, something cool. cool. Uh, <laughs> something even in this, gun. when he comes back as Galvatron, he yeah. turns into a cannon that can fire itself, which is great. Yeah. Uh, speaking of that, <laughs> one thing that I love about this movie is now this is going to sound like a contradiction. So on one hand, Hasbro is right there, front and center, of a course. toy company. Yeah. So these are all toys, and so. The reason you realize that most of them are dying is so that they can introduce yeah. all new toy characters. Duh. And yet it results in a cartoon <laughs> with actual weight to it and actual consequences. So on one hand, you're like, oh, what a cynical fucking thing. You're just killing off your character so that you can introduce new toys. But on the other hand, you're like, but you've in the process created one of the only cartoons with actual like you know, gra- gravitas or whatever. Yeah. Growth to it. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. an actual progression of, you know. So it's like, ah, uh, you want to fall. So it's the same thing with like, on one hand, the movie doesn't actually, in most places, come off as a toy commercial. Mm-hmm. And yet there's parts like where you, when Unicron, you know, recreates Megatron as Galvatron. Okay, mm-hmm. that makes sense. And then he takes the dece- the Insecticons, which had also gotten thrown out. Right. And, you know, he takes like one of them and he's like, he shows him being recreated. He's like, 
you know, with no background or anything, and he never does anything again. It's just during the recreation process, he's like, Scourge, the tracker, and his minions. And it's just, you feel like the, the deleted part is like, available at Sears and Roebuck <laughs> and Zare this Christmas. And Zare. <laughs> Reshare for forty nine ninety nine. yeah. Child World exclusive. KB Toy. <laughs> Yeah. Like, Scourge the Tracker and his minions. Such a cool name. Fucking does nothing in the movie. There's no minions point to it. sold separately. Yeah, minions sold separately. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's true. That is true. Um, The plot to this movie. Again, it, I'm so surprised because you, you figure that they would have done something that would be the most broadest appeal. The most broadest. Yeah, have the broadest appeal. But Transformers actually has some sort of continuity. And they, they start this, like, fucking... Like, you have to have actually seen the first... It's. I mean, on one hand, you you don't have to have. I mean, to enjoy it. Yeah. But it's actually taking place. It's like they don't really hold your hand or anything. No. They're like, okay, it's two thousand and five, and the Decepticons yeah, have taken you over. It was yeah, I know, right? The Decepticons have taken. <laughs> o- yeah. Well, in nineteen eighty five, the Decepticons have taken over. Um, have taken over Cybertron, and now they're trying to take over Autobot City on Earth. And then they just throw you right into this fucking, yeah. like, the, the Decepticons, the Autobots are on the run this whole movie. The Decepticons, yeah, basically. not only is Megatron a real threat, but the Decepticons are an actual force to be reckoned with. It's kind of cool. Um, and, uh, well, the, and the other thing I was going to say about the 2005 thing, I gotta give it credit because it doesn't, by focusing on the Transformers and most of the stuff off-world, in no way, at no point does it do a, like, this is what we imagine 2005 to be like in right. 1985. You yeah. know what I mean? There was nothing like, yeah, you know. Yeah, they show their base in like a, a barren wasteland desert. Right. And there's no other life around. Right. Except for Daniel and Spike Witwicky. Yeah. So that's that's where you get your Witwicky. <laughs> you know, well, now I'm thinking if the original cartoon doesn't take place, maybe it jumps to the 2000s. So I seem to remember it originally taking place in the year. Well, so maybe yeah. Sam Witwicky is like spikes dad or something i don't know um no i think well i think that daniel was probably sam they just changed his name you think okay yeah whatever but either way yeah um either way that's where you get your wit wiki there you go there's the, there's your wit wikis <laughs> sticky for the wikis. people who do like the movies yeah um, it, sure yeah the all it, two of you the other pro see that's the thing i the, the movies it's hard to explain what is so different between this and like the mo- the other movies because you know it is the ridiculous concept of transforming robots, robots. but I feel in disguise in disguise yes <laughs> but I feel like transformers the the Michael Bay ones try to be rooted in like yes they have stupid jokes and like racist characters <laughs> but for the most part they try to be like it's that humor that you get nowadays with like double entendres and fat like I like that this is just like yeah you know how ridiculous it is to have like you know transforming and talking robots so you know their war is real but also this dinosaur fucking talks like a caveman (laughs) and it's funny and you know here's a guy named Hot Rod and he's gonna turn into a character named Rodimus Prime Rodimus Prime for reasons like I just I love that Rodimus Prime Good lord. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Can I just say, Je- I like Judd Nelson as an Don't actor. Don't you badmouth Rodimus Prime. I, I'm not batting, I'm not <laughs> badmouthing Rodimus Prime, I'm badmouthing Judd Nelson. His, his line delivery for, Ro- like, as a voice actor was fucking horrid. <laughs> like, that was probably the worst part of the whole movie. It's like, oh no. <laughs> I'm Get back to you, Get back, Daniel. It, it was just you so bad. You want to ride down there in style. It was so bad. Babe. But, <laughs> babe. But Rodimus Prime. That's my favorite name for any character That's in anything awesome. ever. That's awesome. That's great. Hot Rod becomes Rodimus Prime but, after stealing, and I not hope... stealing, but after taking uh, <laughs> Optimus Prime's fucking heart. <laughs> well, it was <laughs> His, No, Magnus I know. It's the Matrix was... of Leadership. I know. Yeah, Ultra yeah, Magnus was a piece of shit. Oh. No, he didn't really do much. <laughs> well, he didn't get a chance. <laughs> that's true. Clearly, he was never... Sp- I know, that's the other thing that I felt really bad about. He's like, oh, Prime said that the Matrix would lead our darkest hour. It's not doing anything. And I'm about to get killed. Yeah. And I'm killed. And I'm dead. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Thanks oh, for nothing, all-spark thing. Uh, it's, the Auto- it's, the, it's the Autobot 
Matrix of Leadership, okay? Whatever. Don't call it the fucking All Spark. The All Spark. That's horrible. <laughs> um, That's what it is, though. You don't have the touch. Or the power. Oh, man! That was the other great... I, um, That just made me think of at the end, too. Speaking of Brutal, um, and that song, because they went back to it at the end, <laughs> with Rodimus Prime, I love how, like, to go inside of Unicron, they went through one of his eyes. Through one of his eyes. And then they left through the other fucking eye. Yep. They blew out his other fucking eye. They were like, fuck you, dude. And then his head came off. It was you great. blind now. Oh, man. But so what did you think of uh, the, like, trash bots and the trash planet and Eric Idle? I was just waiting for Eric Idle to break out and, like, always look on the bright side of life. Ah, uh, but I like that he, like, knew all the, he had all the TV jingles and everything. Yeah. That was fun. And the, the they were weird. Greeting the I didn't understand blah, their blah, purpose. Be blah, nah, nini, rah, whatever. Yeah, huh? whatever the <laughs> their purpose. What do you mean? Yeah, I I didn't understand what their purpose was. Like, what was their what was their thing? They were on the junk planet, right? Yeah. And what was their? How did they help? I I didn't understand that. Okay, so <laughs> I missed the it. Autobots <laughs> got split up. Yeah. When they were when they were fleeing from the Autobots that uh, escaped from Autobot City, because I think that those may be the last Autobots that exist. Mm. To be completely honest, probably. So uh, they got split into two groups. Yep. And Cop and Hot Rod's group originally ended up um, on um, on the the Shark Tacon planet, or whatever. right? And they had to fight the sharks and the the weird fucking um, those are cool li- tribunal thing. Yeah, they were all right. I, I still love, though, how they get out of it because fucking Grimlock just, like, shows up um, with that little guy that's on him who rhymes. That was hilarious. Grimlock's like, yeah! Um, yeah, so Shark he... Shark Decons! So, yeah, he... Yeah, they didn't nom, do nom, shit nom. to him, yeah. So, um... So they escape, and I forget if they take a ship or what, but they end up on the junk planet where Magnus and RC and the other people are um, in time to to like smooth things over between them and Eric Idle and the and the, and the junk natives because oh. Cup does his universal greeting their thing right. and you know they become friends. So their their purpose is they help them. They give them a ship and they accompany them back into space ah. to wherever they're going to to get to Unicron gotcha. and all that shit and everything. So they they okay. they help them. So all right. Um so yeah. <laughs> Cuz like they're doing like this the song and dance number, and then I, I'm... Dare to be stupid. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a Weird Al song on your fucking soundtrack. That's great. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Um, yeah, they were kind of... They were... You know what they were? The Trash Robots? They were the Ewoks. They were the Ewoks of Transformers, the movie, essentially. Gotcha. Okay. Um, that's all you needed. I got it. They were cool, though. Uh, but yeah, I... Uh, I don't know. I love this one. So what did you what did you think? Um, I liked the animation. Yeah, the animation was, was really good, especially for a western animated awesome. thing. Awesome. Yeah. It was very it was very reminiscent of like Gundam. Thing. Sure. I'll take your word for that. Yeah. Never watched that crap. But it's, uh, <laughs> um, and that soundtrack was great. Yes. 80s fucking hair rock amazingness. It was fucking brutal. Yes. Like, 90% of the time was just brutal. The movie? Or the soundtrack? Oh, no, the oh. I moved on from the soundtrack. Okay, the soundtrack was great. Um, no, I'm talking about, like, all the killing and the fighting. Yes. <laughs> like, 90% of the time, it was fucking brutal. Um, it seemed to be no middle ground. If it wasn't brutal, it was absolutely, like, bonkers, like, silly. Yeah. <laughs> like, the other 10% was just weird. It was like, they're like, oh, <laughs> shit, so much killing and death in the children's movie. Quick, 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 comic relief. Bring, yeah. bring, bring the fucking, the, the talking uh, T-Rex back. Yeah, right? <laughs> Can we put a little top hat on him? Uh, that's oh a little bit ridiculous. Well, how about we give him a little, like, ten-inch tall friend that rhymes? Genius. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> um. Why do these dinosaur robots, they're still robots, right? Yeah, why do they need to eat stuff? Shut the fuck up. Just just animate just it. <laughs> okay. Just do it. Just do it. Um. So, overall, though, so what did you think? I like the movie. Yeah. I do. I like the movie. <sighs> Judd Nelson kind of just ruined it, though. <sighs> Boo. I know. He's fucking amazing. He's he's the only thing that, like, really bothered me. <laughs> you, you have to love this movie just for the fact, and I, I cannot stress this enough, that Optimus fucking Prime dies. Dies. Not dies for a little bit and comes back at the end. Uh... Dies for good. Just, just to put this into perspective, imagine watching the real Ghostbusters, and Peter just fucking drops dead. 
and he's not in any more episodes. I would be. Or watching Ninja Turtles and Michelangelo just like, oh, Cowabunga, oh, I just fell off a cliff and fucking dead. Gone. Like, for real, they, they took the most popular character and just killed and him. And just destroyed him. Uh, yeah. And it wasn't gratuitous either. I mean, it made sense. He died in his fight, you know, essentially with <laughs> um, Opticon, Mega Megagrod, whatever his name is. Meta? Gorilla Grod. Uh, Megatron. Metatron? Yeah, Metatron. Yes, the Metatron. Um, <laughs> That'd be cool. Quick question, and I know it's just probably a stylistic choice, but shows how... As soon as, like, Optimus Prime dies, all his color is gone. It's gone, yeah. <laughs> he loses all color. That's awesome. Um, and then just... Bleh. <laughs> oh, the other thing. I don't know if you remember that uh, me pointing this out, but when <laughs> when Ultra Magnus first gets the Autobot Matrix of Leadership, he holds it up to his chest, okay? And then he, like, puts it against his chest like he's trying to put it in, and then lifts it up and puts it back slightly tilted like he's trying to fit it better, right? So, I'm watching it, and... <laughs> in any other movie, you're thinking, okay, that's probably an ad lib, or that's sort of like, okay, make it look like, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm watching, I'm like, they had to write that and, and purposely animate it. Yep. There is no ad libbing in animation. So I'm like, yeah, basically. So this two, just one second of screen time that seems just silly. They just, they just, they're like, oh yeah, animate it so that he tries to put it in and, and doesn't, and then puts it up and tries it from a different angle. Well. <laughs> With no words, no... But it wasn't even to meant to be, like, a comic relief thing. It was just, like... No. It was just this one awkward second of, like... Right. Oh, that didn't work. Let me try again. Yeah. I just thought that was really well, funny. He, he even said, like, I shouldn't have this. Yeah. Like, I'm well. not meant to wear this. Robert Stack. Yeah. <laughs> fat stacks of cash. Oh, boy. Well, I definitely think that the movie holds up. I think it's great. I think it's light years better than any uh, fucking... I think it's light years better than any fucking Michael Bay piece of shit. <laughs> um, which you you like those movies, right? Because you own, like, the first two before yes. I even met you. I like the first two. Ugh, the second one is so bad. Oh, well, okay. The, the second one is not that SpongeBob great. SpongeBob is a racist. Yeah. The first one... Is fine. Tom Kenny should have fucking known better. They handed him that <laughs> script, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I can talk like a stereotypical inner city black guy, easy." <laughs> Do you want me to say? N- oh no. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. We shooting for a PG thirteen? Oh okay, I won't say that. Oh, Everything okay. but. <laughs> Holy shit! Huh? Fat paid. <laughs> fat pit. Pe- fat paid. Fat money. What the fuck does fat fat paid mean? <laughs> I don't fat know. Money. I made it up. Fat money. Fuck Give off. me that fat money. Yeah. Fat cash money. Fat stacks. Fat stacks of cash. See, that would have been funny. Yeah. Fat money. Fat money. Fat. <laughs> money that's fat. Talking about fat. Talking about stacks of cash. Talking about money stop. that's fat. What? <laughs> I said stop. Why? Because I don't want to keep... Get sued by fucking Scott Ackerman? Yeah. Well, you know, Scott, if you're listening, first of all, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Right. Second of all, why don't you fucking help a brother out and share it or something so that other people you get you know you have quite a big audience. You know you could definitely help us out and spread the word. <laughs> and uh, third of all, um, Heather made me do it. Totally. <laughs> she said, "Hey, sing this thing like on the uh, comedy bang bang," <laughs> just like that, using that weird fucking voice that you just used. Yeah. <laughs> well, I um, mean, I think it holds up. Yeah, I do. It, the only thing I would say is that all the kids you, nowadays are fucking pussies, so you have to like <laughs> warn them first. No, <laughs> no, um, no. You have to at least know something about the Transformers, like you know that there's Autobots and Decepticons, and you know an Insecticon. That you can find out later, and but Constructicons. You need to at least know a little bit before watching the movie. Mm. Otherwise, you go into it, and it, if you don't know anything about it, you're kind of just like, what? So you, you recommend it for fans of Transformers, but not so much if you don't have any other Transformers. Like, Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I see that. It's not a pickup. Okay, I... You know what? I see exactly what you're saying. It's not like a... a and I think this is part of what I was talking about. A lot of times when they do, when they make the leap to big screen... They almost either ignore some stuff or they start from a point where 
because they want people, even if they've never watched the show, to come watch it. Right. Um, like they did with, like, say, Firefly, or, like, you know, I mean, they... Yeah. If you watch the show, then, yes, it's a continuation, but it's also, like, if you've never watched the show, you can kind of up and... Right. You're right. This doesn't really do that. Yeah. This is, like, a direct continuation from, like, season yeah. two or it's whatever. Just flat so it's flat out, like, like, you should already know this shit. Right. We're not gonna hold you in. Yeah. Yeah. I get what you're... I get exactly what you're saying. So... So it's definitely more that, for people, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, did you have a review that you wanted to read? I believe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. You ready? Mm-hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So this one <laughs> is by D Rockta nine fifty. What? D Rockta? D R O C T A nine fifty at AOL dot com. Oh god, you've got mail. So email him if you want, I guess. I'm cool. Uh who wrote this <laughs> review in two thousand one. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Space re- officer. Ready for the title? Mm-hmm. Stan Bush, comma. The best Steve Perry in rock and roll. I'm gonna let that sink in. Um I'm gonna let that sink in. Ooh, ooh call on me. Call on me. Yes, Zachary. Okay, um, teacher, wouldn't Steve Perry be the best Steve Perry in rock and roll? <laughs> ding, ding, ding! You're a wiener. Sweet. Holy I shit. have a wiener. Holy I, shit. I am a wiener. This this idiot. <laughs> That's mean. No, it's not. It's right. not. Read the review. All right, so <laughs> dig colon. <laughs> dig. Oh, this review is gonna go digging in my colon. I can already tell. <laughs> I've just seen this movie for the first time tonight. At the age of 23, yes, um, I'm an old man, dot, dot, dot. Too old to watch this kind of smeg. Mind you, he gave it 10 stars. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell y'all, this blew my hair back. I don't know why I love this so much, but the six pack of Mickey's certainly didn't hurt. What the fuck are Mickey's? I, I don't know. He, he ate six Mickey Mouses. Oh, okay. I, Gotcha. Maybe they have an intoxicating power. I don't know. <laughs> Is it like uh-huh. licking oh, toads? Boy. Is it like licking yeah. toads? You like lick Mickey Mouse's? Like, huh? Uh-huh. Don't eat me. I'm psychedelic. Uh-huh. <laughs> I picked up the DVD version unedited as a comparison to Bride of Frankenstein in a paper I'm writing. The fuck? Uh, this like this fucking paper, ass. I don't... How... How are you comparing Bride of Frankenstein? Bride of Frankenstein and Transformers and the Transformers movie are both movies. Yeah. The end. The end. <laughs> I was Teachers ex- read he's like, what the fuck? Was this kid licking Mickey's when he wrote this? <laughs> he sure was. Six of them. <laughs> Six of them. I was expected some sort of cheesy mid-80s esoteric nostalgia circle jerk. Oh, fuck him for using esoteric in a fucking IMDb review. I was expected, sort of. Cheesy. <laughs> I actually found this to be a great time. Fun conceit, entertaining pop music, brilliant catchphrases, and even wonderful animation. Now I'm not into sci-fi, and thought of robots battling each other—the thought of robots ba- battling each other—does not really warm me over. But my God, every second of this movie made me happy. I'll be damned if that isn't all that matters. Every second of this review makes me want to hurl. <laughs> if you care, I gave it a ten out of ten. I we don't. don't. <laughs> we oh, don't care. Tiny, tiny Jinxums. <laughs> Jinxums. Sorry. Jinxums. Yeah. Tiny Jinxums. Um. So in that whole thing, never talks about Stan Bush or Steve Perry. Jesus Christ! What an ass. And calls it pop music. <laughs> I don't even. So. So. He's just like I just rock, wanted to state rock that and Stan roll Bush or was. pop yeah. music. Wh- which one is it? I don't know. Uh, All right. uh, eat a dick. D rock so, 950. More like D-Chota. Yeah. Oh, I should have said D-Cocta. D-Cocta. All right. <laughs> Parents Guide, you ready? Yes. <laughs> Viol- or, oh, my God. Holy shit. You guys thunk we're kidding? Thunk- you got you got thunk we're kidding? <laughs> you got thunk we're kidding? I'm not kidding with you. Um, you guys think we're <laughs> shitting you? We are not shitting you. Under violence and gore. We're not shitting at all. This is like a two-page fucking... Because we're in our bed. Okay, so violence and gore. I just shit the bed. (laughs) Okay, violence and gore. Lots of violence with energy weapons and many (laughs) robot characters get killed. Some are crushed, melted, eaten alive, blown to pieces, or simply shot. That's accurate. Four heroic robots are hijacked and gunned down at seven minutes into the film. 
<laughs> a heroic character sees the villains boarding the ship and jumps up to defend it. He is immediately shot in the chest and falls <laughs> back dead. His body is seen for a few more seconds with its wound smoking, showing that the blast went completely through his body. <laughs> a character is shot and suffers some kind of internal explosion. His eyes turn orange as fire pours out of his head and smoke pours out of his mouth. He then falls back and explodes. This is particularly graphic and disturbing. <laughs> Two heroic robots jump up and begin shooting at the enemies. They are both shot multiple times, and they fall back. One dies immediately. The other manages to crawl to the foot of the enemy's leader, only to have his head blown off off-screen. <laughs> Several instances of robots transforming into vehicles, and then ramming or running over other robots. Yep. Two heroic robots are seen dead. Their corpses are heavily damaged. Their deaths were not shown. An evil robot transforms into a cannon and disintegrates another evil robot. <sighs> Two robots are executed by being fed to robotic sharks. <laughs> a heroic robot is shot several times by flying robots, and his body explodes into several pieces. Oh my God. Three characters fly to the main antagonist's mouth in an attempt to find a weak point. He bites down, killing all three characters. Oh my God. Two robots are seen dropped into a pit of acid and dying an agonizing death. This is fairly graphic. <laughs> a villainous robot character gets his face clawed off, and the main antagonist <laughs> is also defeated in a graphic manner by falling apart and then exploding. <clears throat> the fights are generally more brutal than the TV series and have lethal consequences. Oh, fuck. I could have saved the whole podcast by just reading that. Uh, right. Profanity. Unlike the Michael Bay Transformers movie, the swear words are tame. Only two are said in the entire movie, which are shit and damn it. I don't think damn it is a swear. I think damn is. Mm. Some versions include... Some versions, including the VHS tape of the movie, have them dubbed out. Alcohol, drugs, smoking. None. None. Frightening, intense scenes. A robot gets shot in the chest and the view switches to his face as his eyes change from blue to a fiery red and smoke pours out of his mouth. After being fatally wounded, the leader of the heroic robots is shown in a medical bay in the presence of his friends, including a small human boy. After choosing his successor, he succumbs to his injuries and dies. His life monitor flatlines and his glowing blue eyes fade out. Lastly, his entire body turns into a charcoal light gray color and his head turns down to his shoulder. His friends are visibly upset and the human boy is tearfully crying on the robot's arm. However, he is brought back to life in the TV series and subsequent episodes. The successor is killed later on, but it is rebuilt. Oh, I didn't know that he came back to life in the show. Yeah. Suggested MPAA rating, PG, for sequences of sci-fi action violence and some language. Wow. Suggested MPAA rating? Well, I guess that person should be happy then, because the actual <laughs> MPAA reading... Rating? Ra ra reader? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I don't dip, either. Do, dip, do, dip, do. Um. <laughs> uh, whatever. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Oh, apparently the trash robots are called the Junkions. Oh, uh, nice. Do we have anything else to talk about? Talk about pop music. Pop. Yeah. Pop, pop music. <clears throat> um. So I had an idea. Yeah. I had an idea, and I'm going to talk about it on air. Okay. Pad out the program. Because I'm probably going to cut that shit out, so we need more on there. Okay. Actually, probably just going to cut that part out. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so we had talked about doing a sitcom next. Uh, yes. I believe we had settled on Family Ties. Yeah. But it had been between Family Ties and Growing Pains. I was thinking what if we did another versus type thingamajigger <laughs> where it's family ties one week and then uh <clears throat> excuse me growing pains where it's family ties one week and then growing pains the next week and we decide which one holds up better okay it'll be the battle of the 80s sitcoms yeah they were on basically at the same time right uh, uh, roughly i believe while you're checking that, uh, oh, show me that smile. Don't waste another minute on you crying. Something to The best is waiting to begin. As long as we've got each other. 1982 to 1989 was Family Ties. Yep. And growing. We're sharing the laughter and love. <laughs> sharing the laughter and uh, love. Taking forever. Your face is taking forever. Yeah. Ran from 1985 to 1992. I am there so go. good. 
So 85 to 92, and what was uh, Family Ties again? 82 to 89. Very close. Very close. Yeah, they, they intersect. Yeah. So. Yeah, because let's see. Growing Pains had seven seasons. And Family Ties, uh, let's see. No, what was the Family Growing Ties Pains song? had a movie in 2004. No. Growing Pains, Return of the Seavers. It, d- what? Yeah, that's the real thing. Have you seen it? No. I just, I just saw it on here. <laughs> and the, okay, and Family Ties had seven seasons, alright, cool. Oh, yeah, I remember back when, like, there were, like, made-for-TV reunion movies yeah, or like, old shows and stuff. This- what, yeah, there's so many Brady Bunch ones and stuff. Wow, maybe we should check that out too. It looks like it had everyone in it except for Leo. Leo. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what I'm not was, looking like, forward to is watching guys. that smug fucking fundamentalist piece of shit. Oh, I know. I fucking hate him. Kirk a Cameron. So but you know what? I'm willing to uh, I'm willing to fight through it to uh, for our listeners. Yes. Give them the best fucking. Uh, experience that we can um, anyways <clears throat> okay so we're gonna do the two of those we'll start with family ties and next week and then the week after it's that we'll on. do yeah still yes it's still on right. I haven't showed it off yet. <laughs> sure. and then after that we'll do growing pains okay okay um, I'll try to get through growing pains oh, fuck too you soon. you'll do it oh yeah that's too soon too soon <laughs> <laughs> Alan Thick died. Do, do, do. He's a dead Canadian. Aww. Too soon. Too soon. So too soon. I've been so inclined do, 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 to review his show on my shitty oh, podcast. Yeah. You started it. Um, I had something I wanted to say. Now I forget what it was. Oh. oh. If you're still with us, um, I just wanted to say that we are now on Patreon. We are live and going. You can go right now and give us money if you want. Um, Patreon is, in case you don't know and you're listening to this and you're like, I don't know what that is. I'd like to do it, but I have no idea what it is. Well, just (laughs) fucking shut up and listen. I'll tell you. But I don't know. I said shut up. It is a platform where artists can get paid for their art essentially um basically like you know you do things like podcasts and we do them you know because we want to do them for the love of it but you know some people might listen to it and be like oh you know what i appreciate this free content and i you know it's like throwing a little bit of money in the guitar case of the hat they're like here you go for your fucking troubles um (laughs) so basically you go to you go to um you go to you go to it you do it you you do you go to it uh you go to patreon and you look up what's the hold up, um, and then our thing will come up, and then you can basically give us an amount of money. No, you can give us an amount of money as small or as large as you'd like. Um, the larger the better. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and every month, that money is donated directly to us. And we use that money for things like, um, you know, purchasing more movies and shows to uh, review. Um, and, you know, the things so we that we can't... we don't pirate them. Yeah, so we don't be pirates. <laughs> um, and not everything's for free on the internet. So, yeah, so, we, you know, we buy the movies that we review and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> the money would also go towards uh, new equipment. Yes. Like maybe some new mic, new new fancy microphones, maybe a camera or something. If we want to maybe do some mixer. video podcast, maybe a mixer or something. Uh, and mixer for, for my mixer for your drinks, <laughs> holy shit! Yes, yeah, send us money so we can get fucking drunk, sloshed, sloshed. Oh my god, I want to get so fucking sloshed. You're gonna you're gonna send me the money and then gonna buy the fucking Jägermeister and the Captain Morgans and maybe some beers. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking shock on that shit, <laughs> and I'm gonna get so I'm gonna get so drunk that I'm uh, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find the the smallest fucking Pomeranian I can, and I'm gonna shit on it, and then I'm be like, why'd you shit on my dog? And I'm be like, hey, you shut the fuck up. This is this is the drinks I got. You shut the fuck up. I'm sloshed. I get oh this God. fucking money from Patreon. I went out and I bought all this fucking booze. So you shut the fuck up, or I'll shit on your Pomeranian again. And then I won't, because you know what? I'll have done it all the first time. So I'll be like, okay, so why don't you give me your, your address? We'll trade information. And when I have to poop again, I'll come out and poop on your Pomeranian again. 
Oh my God. The person will be like, oh no, that's okay, I don't need you to do that. And be like, well then you better fucking... Shut up. Yeah, you better fucking shut up, because I'm sloshed. I'll fucking give you the business. <laughs> I always give people the business when I get sloshed. Wow. Um, but no, we aren't really going to use the alcohol no. on booze. <laughs> we're not going to use the alcohol on booze. <laughs> we're going to buy it, we're just not going to use it. <laughs> no, I meant we're not going to use the drinks on fuck, fuck, fuck me, fucking, fucking <laughs> shit, fuck, cock nerd. <laughs> we're not going to use the money for... Alcohol. End quote. Please don't let this turn you off, okay? Wait, wait, did I have to start with a quote to end it? Fuck. Why did you quote? I'm erasing this. Why did you quote I'm erasing this whole fucking podcast and starting again. I don't understand why you quoted it. Because I'm sloshed. Don't make me give you the business. (laughs) Okay. Anyways, go to Patreon. Give us money, and we'll continue doing an awesome podcast. Oh, no, 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 so you get the rewards. Yeah. You get the, so for the for the for your for your money, uh, you get cool access to awesome shit. Like uh, we're gonna have like so by we're donating donating money to our Patreon, you get some cool as fucking shit rewards, like access to our exclusive Patreon feed, where I'm gonna uh, just rattle off random shit. Uh, that no one else will get to see but you. Lucky fucking you. No, just kidding. It'll be cool. Um, uh, access to things like um, polls. Uh, help us decide on different topics and stuff. Um, we're going to start offering the next set of, and everyone after that, set of outtakes for um, our Patreon customers. I know. Too bad. So sad. It's like a heroin dealer. The first two tastes were free, and now you get to fucking pay for that shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, your outtakes aren't worth paying for. Shut the fuck up. Your mom's not worth paying for, you piece of shit. Uh, wow. Yeah, that's, I know, right? That's really going to get them... Oh, my God. Please come to money. my Patreon. I want to get sloshed. I want to give you the business, and I want to make fun of your mom. And only can we do that if you give us money. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, for real though, please go. We're we're trying to do this thing, make a living at uh, doing podcasts. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's just you know, if you want to show your appreciation, like I said, you do get some cool fucking rewards for it. Uh, for the five dollar tier, I mean, if you actually thought we were worth giving five dollars a month, which even I don't think that, so I don't know how anyone else is going to. Um, but uh, I left it wide open, so it's it's basically you tell us what you want like um you know we we can do live podcasts we can do video podcasts we can do both we can do like ask me anythings because fuck reddit they don't have a fucking copyright on that shit um the lots of cool stuff whatever the sky's the limit so patreon what's the hold up give us your fucking money uh before i forget the one patron that we have right now mr anthony brian levesque of Amesbury, Massachusetts. My oldest and dearest friend You're I've known since second grade. You're a hero. Thank you so much. See, he gets a fucking on-air thank you because he gave He's us enough one. money for it. Because you have to give money and then you get an on-air thank you. So that could be fucking you. I could be saying your name right now. Yeah. And being like, you know, oh, so it wasn't growing pains great? Oh, and by the way, thank you to fucking Frenchie McClure and his Turberglin aunt Jennifer Crangan. What? <laughs> from Nova Scotia, Wisconsin. Wow. These are just names that could be. These are names that could, that could be. be they could be yours, right. but probably are not. <laughs> um, no, I would say your real name. I wouldn't actually just say those <laughs> random names. I would say your real name and say thank you. No, I won't. Man, I'm doing a bad job of this shit. Nobody's ever gonna give us money. They could be like, I, I, why would I give you money when I could just turn on my computer and say shit, fuck, fuck, shit into it, and then just <laughs> listen to it back? Why would I give you money to do something that my ten year old does while he's staring in the mirror and thinks that I'm off at bingo? Well, you know, first of all, stop fucking spying on your ten year old. They're never going to trust you if uh, if you can't give them a little bit of privacy. independence and privacy. And second of all, bingo is the biggest fucking scam. <laughs> Don't go to bingo. It's horrible. Go play Keno or just shut your head in a car door. Either way, it's better than going to bingo. Okay? Nice. Um, that's all I have to say. Uh, Heather, do you have anything to say? No. Okay. <laughs> um, no. Um, 
I do. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, sure. Patreon. Woo! Follow uh, Mr. Levesque's uh, lead and, you know, love us. Yes, and, and us also money. follow us follow us on um, Twitter Facebook. at WHTUP Oddcast. Um, I think I did it right. Yeah. Uh, and on Facebook. On the Facebook. The What's the Hold Up Facebook page. And yeah. um, uh, I think there's more social media and I don't remember what it is. So just those two for now. And Patreon. Anyways. Right. Uh, oh, the YouTube channel. Until, oh, yes, YouTube. I swear to God I'm going to put more episodes up there. So go to our YouTube channel and like and subscribe and all that happy horse shit. Um, until next week, toodaloo. Um, I'm, I'm 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 Josh Groban. And this is my, my life partner, uh, Liberace's dog. And we'll see you. Wow. <laughs> we'll see you next week on The prices. No, fuck. And what's the hold up? <laughs> you asshole. You are the asshole. Shut up, Liberace's dog. You're not supposed to be able to talk. You're supposed to go, what? what? You're supposed to go, what, what? <laughs> you ruined that. I was going to be like, you're supposed to go, woof, woof. But instead you're like, woof, <laughs> Apparently Liberace's dog needs a new fucking diet. <laughs> Because she's shitting all over the fucking lawn. I'm not picking that shit up. Fuck it. That's It'll your just. Feet. That's my feet? Oh, I thought it was the that lawn. I just shit on. You shit on my feet? I did. Fuck that. Uh, you're, you're lucky you're not a fucking Pomeranian. Or you'd be getting that right back. All right. That's enough. Goodbye. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Oh, how it pains me to do this. Wait. I still function. What a bet. Cock nerd.